The Sukhoi Superjet 100, Russian, Suhoj Superz 100, TR. Sukhoi Superjet 100 or SSJ 100 is a regional jet designed by Sukhoi, a division of the United Aircraft Corporation. With development starting in 2000, it made its maiden flight on the 19th of May 2008 and its first commercial flight on the 21st of April 2011 with Armavia. The 46 to 49T, 101,000 to 108,000 pounds MTOW plane typically seats 87 to 98 passengers and is powered by two 77 to 79 kilonewtons, 17,000 to 18,000 lbf Powerjet Sam 146 turbofans developed by a joint venture between French Safran and Russian NPO Saturn. By May 2018, 127 were in service and by September the fleet had logged 300,000 revenue flights and 460,000 hours. Development Topic background development of the aircraft began in 2000, when JSC Sukhoi was incorporated to develop the RRJ-60, 75 95ths project in May. Studies of the Russian Regional Jet RRJ began in 2001, with initial studies based on three sizes, the RRJ-60, 75 95ths with 60, 78 and 98 seats respectively. Sukhoi targeted a market for 800 aircraft including 250 to 300 from Russia. Boeing provided consultancy services on program management and aircraft definition. On the 15th of October 2001, the Russian government allocated 46.6 million dollars to develop a new 70 to 80 seat regional jet, planning a 2006 first flight and 2007 service entry. Contenders for the engine of the Superjet 100 were the Pratt & Whitney PW800, the Rolls-Royce BR710, the General Electric CF34-8, and the SM146, a Snecma 21 German Marx gas generator combined with an Aviadvigatel cold section. The program allocated $63.5 million to develop a 4-5 TF 8, engine between 2003 and 2015. In 2002, Boeing was selected to advise Sukhoi and its partners on program management, engineering, marketing, product development, certification, supplier management, and customer support. As of 30 July 2002, the BR-710 and the CF-34-8 were eliminated in the RRJ engine contest. In December 2002, the joint Snecma – Saturn SAM 146 was selected to power the regional jet. Flight Global reported that the rejection of the PW800 was due to a perceived technical risk associated with the PW800's geared fan. In March 2003, Rosevier Cosmos selected the Sukhoi RRJ over the Myasishchev M6070 or the Tupolev Tu 414. On 29 April, Sukhoi signed a formal memorandum of understanding with Snecma to confirm its selection of the 14,000 to 17,000 lbf to 76 kilonewtons SM146, developed from the Snecma SPW14, over the Pratt & Whitney Canada PW800 geared turbofan. Sukhoi then anticipated to win 10% of the regional jet market for 600 aircraft by 2020, for a total sales volume of $11 billion. In October 2003, key suppliers were selected, including Thales for avionics, Messier Bugatti Doughty for landing gear, Honeywell for the auxiliary power unit, Liebherr for flight controls, Intertechnik for fuel systems, Parker Hannafin for hydraulic systems, B.E. Aerospace for interiors. 
In 2004, EASA certification was applied for and it was expected six months after the Russian approval. In February 2005, the Komsomolskaya on Amur plant was selected for the final assembly, implementing jig less assembly, automatic component alignment, and automatic riveting. The RRJ 6075s were then dropped, to focus on the largest 98-seat RRJ 95, with the 78-seater to follow and perhaps a future stretch. On 17 July at the Farnborough Air Show, the RRJ 95 was renamed the Sukhoi Superjet 100. On 7 December, Aeroflot purchased 30 aircraft, becoming the first customer. In June 2007, Boeing expanded its assistance on flight and maintenance crew training and manuals, and spare parts management and supply. On the 22nd of August, Sukhoi and Alenia Aeronautica established the Superjet International Joint Venture for customer support outside Russia and Asia. Alenia Aeronautica took a 25% stake in SCAC for $250 million, valuing it at $1 billion. The development was anticipated at $1 billion with another $1 billion needed to develop the power plant and for customer support. Flight testing On 28 January 2007, the first SSJ was transported by an Antonov 124 from Komsomolskaya on Amur to Dukovsky, Moscow Oblast, for ground tests conducted by the Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute Zagi. On 26 September 2007, the Superjet was rolled out at Jomgi Airport in Komsomolskaya on Amur. By October 2007, initial deliveries were scheduled for 2009 and three models were planned, the 95-98-seater at first, followed by a 75-78-seat shrink and a 110-passenger stretch. On 21 February 2008, the SAM-146 engine was first run. The Gromov Flight Research Institute used an Aleutian IL-76 UL to test the engine. On 19 May 2008, the Superjet 100 took off for the first time from Komsomolskaya on Amur. By July, certification was expected for the third quarter of 2009, with deliveries after. On 24 December 2008, the second SSJ made its maiden flight. By January 2009, the first two aircraft had completed over 80 flights, and the engines had accumulated 2,300 hours of tests. On 1 April 2009, the two prototypes flew 3,000 km from Novosibirsk to Moscow. On 17 April 2009, EASA pilots flew the two prototypes. On 26 July 2009, the third prototype flew, as it made its international debut at the 2009 Paris Air Show. Malev Hungarian Airlines was to order 30 Superjets worth $1 billion. As of June 2009, 13 aircraft were under construction, with the first four scheduled to be handed over to clients from December. After 2012, the company expected to build 70 aircraft per year. Armenian Armavia was to receive the first two, followed by Aeroflot, having ordered 30 with an option for 15 more. Other customers include Russia's Avialeasing, Swiss AMA Asset Management Advisor, and Indonesian Kartika Airlines. On the 29th of December 2009, deliveries were delayed until the engines were ready. On the 4th of February 2010, the fourth prototype flew with engines removed from the first prototype due to delays in engine production, including NPO Saturn quality problems. By 28 May 2010, all engine tests needed for certification were completed, including the final simulation of a bird flock encounter. On 19 November 2010, FMS tests were completed. The FMS was developed by Canada's CMC Electronics for Thales. 
On 15 September 2010, static tests for certification of the aircraft were completed by Zaghi. Certification By June 2010, certification was 90% complete but was delayed due to SAM 146 engine problems that were not encountered during testing. The engines had an increased weight and excessive fuel consumption. In September 2010, certification was expected for November. In October 2010, noise was tested for certification authorities, Russian IAC and European EASA. On 4 November 2010, the first production aircraft, intended for Armavia, was first flown. By November 2010, the SSJ test fleet had made 948 flights totaling 2245 hours. By the 21st of December 2010, emergency evacuation completed in 73 seconds within the 90 imparted with 98 volunteers and 5 crew and rejected takeoff. Probing the tires and brakes at maximum energy with no thrust reversal were completed in Dukovsky near Moscow for IAC and EASA certification. On 3 February 2011, IAC granted a type certificate. EASA's type certificate followed on 3 February 2012, allowing operations in European countries. In-service developments In summer 2017, the business jet variant's additional fuel tanks were certified to carry 3,100 kilograms (6,800 pounds) more fuel, increasing range from 4,420 kilometers (2,390 nmi) to 6,000 kilometers (3,200 nmi). London City Airport is a major destination for Irish airline CityJet, which was to receive 15 SSJ. 100s, but its steep 5.5 degrees approach required new control laws, wing flap setting and modified brakes. Test flights were to begin in December 2017, with certification planned for 2018, and the modified aircraft to be available in 2019. A new Sable winglet, helping takeoff and landing performance and delivering 3% better fuel burn, will be standard and available for retrofit. Designed with CFD tools by Sukhoi and Zagi, the Sabolets debuted flight tests on 21 December 2017. They should improve hot and high airport performance and cut costs up to $70,000 per year. Parts of the wing are reinforced for the aerodynamic loads distribution change. By November 2018, the Zagi carried out wind tunnel tests on two modified wing designs to save structural weight, one with less wing sweep and the other with more relative thickness, also enhancing aerodynamics and load capabilities, and improving fuel efficiency by nearly 10%. Russified SSJ Sukhoi is planning a Russified Superjet 100 for 2020, a smaller PD-10 variant of the Aviadvigatel PD-14 engine could be developed, and Russian inertial navigation system and APU could replace Honeywell's. The landing gear produced by Safran would also need to be replaced. Russian content should double to 30% as U.S. restrictions limit its export potential. Sukhoi forecasts 345 sales from 2018 to 2030, mostly in post-Soviet states and some in Southeast Asia and Latin America, including an improved range business jet version. Sukhoi expected to produce 30 SSJs in 2018, as in 2017. The seating capacity is to be raised to 110, and hot and high operations to 4,000 m and 50 degrees Celsius. 
A freighter variant is also being studied. Russian government has earmarked 3.2 billion, 51 million dollars toward the SSJ100R with indigenous propulsion and avionics, introduced at the Eurasia Airshow 2018 in Antalya alongside the SSJ75. Sukhoi Civil Aircraft lost 5 billion rubles in two years, raising its debt to 25.3 billion rubles, but hopes for more orders from Iranian airlines to replace Boeing, Airbus, and ATR orders cancelled following the U.S. withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal. With 30 yearly deliveries, UAC claims a 37.5% market share of 80 to 120 seaters, or 19% of the regional jet market. For the three years from 2018, UAC plans to invest $13.3 billion in the SSJ. On 12 July 2018, while evaluating the winglets, the right main landing gear failed to extend fully and the test aircraft made an emergency landing with no injuries at the Gromov Flight Research Institute. It was to be repaired and returned to flight, to resist the Airbus Boeing duopoly pressure on regional jets through the Embraer E Jet E2 and the Airbus A220. Sukhoi would upgrade the SSJ 100 to the SSJ 100B and the Russianized SSJ 100R. The SSJ 100B would feature more powerful SAM 146 to 1S18 engines, improved avionics software, enhanced high lift devices controls, and retrofittable Sabre blended wingtip devices. Its navigation system would be tested over the North Pole. The SSJ-100R would replace Western components by Russian ones for government customers and countries subject to Western sanctions. Western content accounts for 55 to 60 percent of an SSJ-100 cost, but sanctions against Russia are tightening. Replacing U.S. parts such as the INS, APU, and cabin by Russian or European substitutes would allow deliveries to Iran Air Tours and Iran Azaman, which signed letters of intent for 40 SSJs in 2017, but European partners will not risk U.S. retaliation and, as of December 2018, Sukhoi has not received any feedback from the U.S. authorities regarding exports to Iran. After 2021, the SSJ 100R would be produced without Western components, the Thales avionics would be replaced by KRET units, and the SAM 146 engines by a PD 9 scaled down variant of the Aviadvigatel PD 14. Fuel burn would be reduced by 5 8% with a new composite wing. The U.S. made inertial navigation system, auxiliary power unit, and cabin interior would also be replaced by Russian equivalents. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design. The five abreast cross section is more optimized beyond 70 seats than the four abreast Bombardier CRJs and Embraer E jets, but smaller than the six abreast Airbus A320 and Boeing 737. The SSJ100 typically seats 87 to 98 passengers. In Russia, it replaces the aging Tupolev Tu-134 and Yakovlev Yak-42 aircraft. It competes with the Antonov and 148, Embraer E190 and the Bombardier CRJ-1000. It aims for lower operating costs than its competitors for the price of $23–25 million. Sukhoi claims direct operating costs are 6 to 8 percent lower than the Embraer 190-195 and fuel burn is on a par with the Antonov and 148 but with 22 more passengers. Sukhoi claims cash operational costs are lower than competitors by 8 to 10 percent, with reduced fuel burn per seat and longer maintenance intervals. The design meets CIS AP 25, US FAR 25, and EU JAR 25 aviation rules, and conforms to ICAO Chapter 4 and FAR 36, Section 4 noise standards from 2006. 
The Powerjet SAM 146 turbofans provides 13,500 to 17,500 lbf (60 to 78 kilonewtons) of thrust for 70 to 120 seat aircraft. Russia CIS Observer qualifies it as the most important Russian civil aircraft. The Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade supports it as a priority project. Development cost $1.4 billion excluding the SAM-146 engine, with 25% funded from the federal budget. It is the first new civil non-amphibious jet aircraft developed in post-Soviet Russia. Over 30 foreign partnerships are involved. The SAM-146 engines are developed, manufactured and marketed by Powerjet, a joint venture between the French SNECMA and Russia's NPO Saturn. A joint venture between Alenia, later part of Leonardo SPA, and Sukhoi Superjet International was responsible for marketing in Europe, the Americas, Africa, Japan, and Oceania. Though Leonardo pulled out in early 2017 because of Superjet's poor financial performance, and Sukhoi regained a 100% share in SCAC. Assembly is performed at the Komsomolske on Amur aircraft plant in the Russian Far East, while the Novosibirsk Aircraft Production Association produces components. Both are upgrading their facilities and were expecting to produce 70 airframes by 2012. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operational history. Introduction On 19 April 2011, the first production aircraft was handed over to Armavia at Zavartnots Airport in Yerevan, to be operated to Moscow and Sochi, as well as Ukrainian cities. The aircraft was named after Yuri Gagarin. On 21 April, the first commercial flight landed at Moscow Sheremetyevo. The flight lasted 2 h 55 minutes. Armavia used the Airbus A319 on this route before switching to the Superjet 100. On the 1st of May, it made its first commercial flight to Venice Airport in around 4 hours. It had accumulated 50 hours in 24 flights by then. By March 2012, the six aircraft operated by Aeroflot were flying 3.9 hours per day instead of the standard 8 to 9 hours due to failures and parts delivery delays, and the airline asked for compensation. In August 2012, Armavia announced that it had returned both of its SSJ-100s to the manufacturer. Armavia then avoided further deliveries. In February 2013, Sukhoi stated teething problems are usual in new airliners. The SSJ entered service with Mexican Interjet on the 18th of September 2013. In their first 4 weeks, the first 2 aircraft operated were flown 580 times over 600 hours with a daily utilization of 9.74 hours and a dispatch reliability of 99.03%. By June 2014, Interjet had received seven SSJ-100s and the dispatch reliability had increased to 99.7%. On 12 September 2014, Interjet started regular passenger flights to the U.S., on the Monterey, Mexico, San Antonio, Texas route. On 3 June 2016, the Irish carrier CityJet was the first Western European airline to take delivery of an SSJ-100. Dependability <inaudible> 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 On 24 December 2016, the Russian Federal Air Transport Agency grounded seven jets after a tail component of an Araero SSJ-100 showed metal fatigue, leading Sukhoi to inspect the entire fleet. By 27 December, all aircraft had been inspected and it had been shown that the defect was not systemic as it featured multiple redundancies and a safety margin doubling the normal loads. 
All of Interjet's SSJ 100s were also inspected. In June 2017, dispatch reliability increased to 97.85% from 96.94% a year earlier, while there were 89.6 malfunctions per 1,000 flight hours, down by 40%. On 21 July 2017, following the discovery of horizontal stabilizer rear spar cracks, the EASA mandated compulsory inspections. Sukhoi recognizes it needs to improve customer support with more responsiveness and availability for flight training, engineering and spare parts supply. In early November 2017, the Russian Federal Air Transport Agency and Italian Civil Aviation Authority amended their bilateral airworthiness agreement, hitting SSJ export sales. Interjet claimed its capital cost for 10 superjets was equivalent to the pre-delivery payment for one Airbus A320. The pre-delivery payment amounts to 15 to 30 percent of an aircraft list price. An A320 list price was $88.3 million in 2012. In January 2018, Bloomberg reported that four of Interjet's 22 SSJ 100s were being cannibalized for parts to keep others running after having been grounded for at least five months because of SAM 146 maintenance delays. This was later refuted by Interjet. One grounded SSJ-100 was due to be back in service on 19 January 2018 and the remaining three in March. In August 2018, Russian regional carrier Yakutia Airlines considered withdrawing their SSJs, after two were grounded because their engines were removed after 1,500 to 3,000 cycles, below the 7,000 specified, and no replacements were available. Powerjet was expanding its repair capacity and lease pool as engine maturity improved, noting that the SAM 146 engine achieved 99.9% dependability since its 2011 introduction. In September 2018, Interjet was reported to be considering replacing its SSJ 100s with Airbus A320 NEOs, to make better use of its slots, with the SSJ technical problems possibly also a factor. On 12 September, Interjet denied the report. It was later reported that Interjet intends to phase out some of its superjets and take 20 more A320neos, maybe alongside newer superjet deliveries. It will have access to an enhanced SSJ spares inventory in Mexico City and is installing a flight simulator in Toluca. The updated SSJs would have winglets, a higher MTOW and improved systems and interior. Sukhoi has also proposed to increase the cabin density from 93 to 108 seats by reducing the pitch from 34 to 30 in 86 to 76 centimeters. In October 2018, Sukhoi and engine contractor UEC agreed on a plan, backed by the Russian government, to focus on customer support rather than deliveries in order to improve dispatch reliability. At the end of November 2018, United Aircraft Corporation transferred SCAC from Sukhoi Holding to the Urquhart Corporation, to become UAC's airliner division. By then, Brussels Airlines was seeking alternatives for its four SSJ 100s wet leased from CityJet, as teething problems affected their reliability. By February 2019, CityJet's remaining five SSJ 100s stood idle and were expected to be transferred to Slovenia's Adria Airways, which committed for 15 in late 2018, though Adria subsequently cancelled its order in April 2019. Neither CityJet nor Brussels Airlines have commented as to why they dropped the SSJ, though low reliability, difficult maintenance and spare parts availability are suspected to have contributed. As of March 2019, 15 of Interjet's 22 SSJs were out of service. Talks with Sukhoi were deadlocked, with Interjet reportedly unwilling to pay for repairs to the Powerjet SAM 146 engines.
Interjet's reliability issues are compounded by the lack of service facilities for the SSJ, a factor which also contributed to the poor reliability recorded by CityJet. As of 6 May 2019, Sukhoi has had trouble selling and renewing leasing contracts of the Superjet outside of Russia because of reliability and service network issues. In May 2019, Yamal Airlines, the second largest Russian SSJ operator, announced the cancellation of its order for 10 further SSJs, citing high servicing costs. Out of 30 to 40 SSJ airplanes owned by Aeroflot, only 10 are usable at a time due to maintenance problems. Aeroflot cancelled approximately 50 Superjet flights in the week following the Flight 1492 accident. Commercent cited industry sources as saying the Superjet 100 had lower dispatch reliability than Airbus and Boeing aircraft in the airline's fleet historically and attributed a rise in cancellations to increased safety measures. At Aeroflot, while the accident is investigated, on the 15th of May 2019, Interjet announced that it is to sell its 20 SSJs, of which only five are operational, as it is no longer profitable to operate aircraft of this size in Mexico. Topic: <laughs> Variants. <laughs> 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 Three variants were initially planned, seating 60, 78 and 98 passengers, the RRJ-60, RRJ-75 and RRJ-95, respectively. By 2007, the RRJ-60 had been dropped, to focus on the 98-seater, with the 78-seater to follow. The basic version was certified by the EASA on the 3rd of February 2012. The RRJ 95LR100 with an MTOW increased from 45.88 to 49.45 t, 101,100 to 109,000 pounds, and the RRJ 95B100 with thrust increased from the SAM 146 to 1S17 of 76.84 to 7. 79 kilonewtons, 17,270 to 17,760 lbf. Ones 18s were added on the 7th of March 2017. The RRJ 95LR100 range is increased to 4,578 kilometers, 2,472 nmi. The RRJ 95B100 takeoff distance is reduced by 10%. Topic 130 to 140 seat stretch in 2011. The Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade mentioned the stretched Superjet 130NG seating 130. It would have an aluminum fuselage and composite wings. The new materials were intended to reduce weight by 15 to 20 percent, increase service life by 20 to 30 percent and reduce operating costs by 10 to 12 percent. Its development was still proposed in August 2012. With 130 to 140 seats, it would have bridged the gap between the 110 to 115 seat Superjet and the 150 to 200 seat Urquhart MC21. In 2013, funding was planned to start in 2016 for production from 2019 2020. It would have used a derivative of the Urquhart MC21 composite wing and Pratt and Whitney PW1000G engines. The 130-seat stretch would have been known as the Sukhoi Superjet 130NG. It would have competed with the Airbus A220 and Embraer E-Jet E2 family. Topic: 115 to 120 seat stretch. In 2016, a shorter stretch seating up to 120, using larger wings but the same engines and tail, was planned for introduction in 2020. In 2017, with a business plan for 150 aircraft, a go-ahead for the in 130 seat stretch depended on the availability of engines with sufficient thrust and was due by the end of the year. 
the aircraft could carry up to 120 passengers with the existing engines, and up to 125 passengers with airframe continuous improvements. Powerjet could certify a thrust increase of 2% within three years. Sukhoi was to decide by the first quarter of 2018 whether to launch first a shortened 75 seat or a stretched variant needing higher thrust SAM 146s or an alternative engine. 75 seat shrink At the February 2018 Singapore Air Show, Sukhoi announced a possible 75 seat shrink to enter service in 2022. With a smaller, optimized aluminium or composite wing, it would be powered by 17,000 lbf 76 kilonewtons, Pratt & Whitney PW 1200 GS, detuned SAM 146s or Aviadvigatel PD-14 derived PD-7s. The 3 to 3.5 meters, 9.8 to 11.5 feet shorter fuselage would be 3T, 6600 pounds lighter and it would fall within US scope clauses but would require western service and support experience. Demand for such jets is 200 to 300 in Russia and up to 3000 overseas. Introduction could slip to early 2023. As Sukhoi and Urquhart may be consolidated into United Aircraft, some structures and avionics could be closer to the Urquhart MC-21 for commonality. A unified platform with identical controls would ease pilot conversions, S-7 Airlines committed to 75 aircraft. In July 2018, a composite wing was preferred and a 3-meter test section will be manufactured and tested. The variant would retain the SAM 146 and empty weight should be reduced by 12 to 15%. In 2018, serial production was planned for 2025, four years after design approval. By 2019, the priority had shifted to the replacement of Western parts so that the superjet can be sold to NATO sanctioned countries such as Iran. S-7 Airlines, which had committed to 75 of the shortened aircraft, may seek alternatives from Bombardier or Embraer. <laughs> <laughs> Orders and deliveries By August 2016, 133 SSJ-100s were in operation with eight airlines and five governmental and business aviation organizations. In October 2017, there were 105 SSJ-100s in service worldwide, some used by government bodies such as the Royal Thai Air Force and Kazakh government agencies. The fleet had logged 230,000 flights in 340,000 hours since its commercial operations debuted in 2011. At least 30 SSJ-100s were to be delivered in 2017, with 38 planned for 2018 and 37 for 2019. In May 2018, ten years after its first flight, the fleet of 127 have logged over 275,000 commercial flights and 420,000 hours. In September 2018, it had logged over 300,000 revenue flights lasting 460,000 hours. Specifications Topic Accidents and Incidents On 9 May 2012, a demonstration flight directly struck Mount Salik in Indonesia, killing all 45 on board Sukhoi personnel and representatives of various local airlines. The tours was ignored by the pilot, distracted by a conversation with a potential customer. On 21 July 2013, during a plane's Autoland evaluation with a single engine in a crosswind at Keflavik Airport in Iceland, the fuselage hit and slid down the runway with the gear up. During an intended go-around, the fatigued pilot throttled down the wrong engine, causing the aircraft to lose thrust sufficient for controlled flight. 
The plane continued to lose altitude and hit the runway even as the pilot realized his mistake and throttled up the engine. One of the five crew was injured during evacuation. The Icelandic Aircraft Accident Investigation Board investigated the event and issued nine recommendations. On 10 October 2018, a Yakutia Airlines SSJ-100 slid off the runway at Yakutsk Airport as the main landing gear collapsed. All 87 passengers and five crew were safely evacuated and none were seriously injured. The excursion may have been caused by ice on the runway or the airstrip's poor state of repair. The airliner was damaged beyond repair and was expected to be written off. On 5 May 2019, as Aeroflot Flight 1492 was climbing after takeoff from Moscow Sheremetyevo, at 6,900 feet 2,100 meters lightning discharged close to the aircraft from a nearby cumulonimbus cloud with a 6,000 feet 1,800 meters base. The radio and other equipment failed and the flight crew chose to make an emergency landing at Sheremetyevo. The aircraft bounced after an initial touchdown, and after the fourth hard touchdown a fire erupted and engulfed the rear of the aircraft. An emergency evacuation was then carried out but 41 out of 78 occupants died. See also Aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Airbus A220 Antonov An-148 Kamak ARJ-21 Embraer E-Jets, E-Jets E-2 Mitsubishi MRJ-70, MRJ-90 Related lists List of civil aircraft List of jet airliners. Equals equals notes.